Now, today's parliamentary sitting was adjourned, but before it was adjourned, we saw the passing of the much-talked-about People's Bank Bill with certain amendments made. Now, also, Parliament was adjourned without the opportunity for the reply speech in the adjournment's motion on the university non-academic staff, uh, non staff strike moved by the JVP. The People's Bank Amendment Bill was put forward by the government to increase authorised capital of the bank by issuing shares and debentures. The opposition claimed that this was an attempt to privatise the banking institution. Today, the government agreed to one of the many amendments presented by the opposition, while the opposition was defeated when a vote was taken regarding the amendment. There is no problem in issuing debentures to further strengthen and protect these banks. However, our view is that the minister should take such decisions after obtaining the approval of the monetary board. We cannot agree to this amendment, but if we are taking a vote, we can proceed. The biggest issue here is that after issuing debentures, if the banks run out of funds to settle them when they mature, will the government convert these debentures into equity shares? This is stated in the government circular. And therefore, the government cannot refrain from doing it. Approval must be obtained from the monetary board of the central bank. Without such approval, Bank of Ceylon or the National Savings Bank cannot issue any debentures. The same applies for the People's Bank as well. Shares of People's Bank cannot be transferred to anyone. Uh, While we thank you for presenting these amendments, I would like to say we would not accept any of them either. I was informed this morning that a certain minister that paid the electricity bill of Sirikotha has requested the People's Bank to issue funds worth 5 billion rupees to his company within the day. He had obtained 8 billion rupees from the Bank of Ceylon. They spoke of the Volkswagen factory. Today they had requested for another loan of 5 billion rupees for this factory in Kuliapitiya. We are concerned as to whether the 10 billion rupees is obtained from state banks to buy over MPs to support the abolishing of the executive presidency. Loans worth 5 billion rupees obtained by Minister Dayagamage were written off as bad debt. We think the act was also passed for this reason. The people of this country will stone and chase the government if it continues to operate like this. While MP Bima Ratnayaka presented the proposal for the non-academic staff protest and several MPs expressed their view in this regard, no member of the ruling party was present to answer the adjournment notion. We would like to know as to who will answer the adjournment motion. I inform uh, the leader of the house, minister also, uh, till coming uh, the, the bond meetings there, coming the minister. House adjourn tomorrow till 10.30 a.m.